now we're ready to turn our attention to the given problem. Again, I have my mean of 105, and I have my standard deviation of 20, and now I want to find the probability that a random selected adult has an IQ between 88 and 122. So I'm looking for the probability that the IQ is greater than 88 and less than 120. Again, my mean is 105, my standard deviation is 20. And if we look at that graphically now, I want to know the area or the probability in here, okay, okay. in this given area, okay. I want to know between 88 and 122, all right. So the first thing I'm going to do in this case is calculate a Z value, like always, but I'm going to use my upper level first, okay. So I'm going to calculate the probability that Z is less than 122, all right. So my Z is going to be equal to X, which is 122 minus my mean, which is 105, all right, divided by my standard deviation, or 20, and that is equal to 0 0.85, okay? And if I look that up on my table, all right, this is an abridged table, but here I have my Z's. Here I see point, 0 0.8, and then I look across the top for the 5. I get a probability of point 8023. So a probability of 0 0.8023. But now that's the probability of less than 122. So it includes all this area, including this region right here, which I don't really want. I only want to know between 88 and 122. So what I'm going to do now is calculate the probability that it's less than 88 or this blue region. Okay. And so I'm going to do Z do a z-value for that, equals 88 minus 105, okay, divided by 20, and this gives me a z-value of negative 0 0.85. And again, if I use this abridged table over here, I see negative 0 0.8, and I look across this hop for my 0.5, and I see that that probability is equal to point one nine seven seven okay so to get the area in between 122 and 188 I first calculate the area all the area less than 122 and then I'm going to subtract off this blue region which is my one point one nine seven seven so it's point eight zero two three minus point one nine seven seven or I get a probability of point point six zero oh, four six all right now I could have done the same thing in Excel all right here I'm gonna go in and I've basically already done it. The first thing I'm going to do is type equals the norm distribution of 122, 105, 20, true. Here I'm going to enter the norm dist of 88, comma, 105, comma, 20, comma, true. All right, and then my probability is just going to be the difference. All right, that minus that. And I get 0 0.0467. All right, again, same answer. Um, a little round off error on that last decimal place. And then finally, I could do that also on the calculator. And actually, your calculator is going to be the easiest way to do it. All you need to do in this case is you're going to use your norm, all right, go right back there, normal CDF, okay, but you're going to enter the, instead of zero as your first one, it's going to be 88, 122, comma 122, comma 105, comma 20. And if you do that, you're going to get the same answer we did 
using these two other methods, 0.6047.